Hi, welcome to our second Kickstarter update video. As promised, today we're going to talk a bit more about the gameplay, and I'll say um, we dive right in. For our gameplay session, we already created a character, and for this job, we already hired another hacker because um, we might be using him. First of all, let me explain a bit about the action system. As you know from the pen and paper role playing game, we've got free actions, simple actions, and complex actions, and we did translate this completely into Shadowrun Online. It's quite a fluent system and it's almost like real time. Um, you can see that whenever you finished your actions, uh, automatically the next character is selected. Um, so you don't need to wait or end your turn manually. Combat consists obviously of um, a combination of actions, free actions like standing up, um, looking around, um, simple actions like movement, uh, single shots or complex actions um, like casting magic spells, um, firing an automatic weapon, uh, hacking, all that stuff. Now um, you can see that combat also um, has a lot of modifiers in Shadowrun and we integrated all those modifiers meaning um, you automatically get calculated um, you know, whether, whether you're behind cover, the distance uh, to your target, the visibility. All these factors play a role um, in the decision on you know, what you're going to shoot, whether you're going to hit, and how much damage you're going to do. Another factor in that is armor. Every armor has weak spots, so you may get an enemy from behind or from the sides and he'll be weaker armored than in the front. And armor is also going to diminish with damage. So if you fire um, enough bullets at someone, at some stage his armor is going to crack. The game also has different damage types, um, like you're used to from Shadowrun RPG. Um, and another damage that we like is the explosives. You can see a couple of explosives in our game. Um, and obviously they're also good for making holes in walls, um, which can offer alternate routes to uh, solving your missions. Obviously, this is a very early prototype. Um, a lot of things aren't like they are going to be in the final game. Um, the user interface is just a placeholder for now. Um, the damage that you may see going up from some of the um, characters or the NPCs that I hit um, is just a temporary solution. So we're going to implement more and more of the Shadowrun um, RPG rules as we go along. In the game, there's going to be a lot of missions that involve some sort of security. Unfortunately, hacking isn't implemented yet, so we can't really show that to you. But just imagine your hacker being able to interface with a camera or with a note um, directly, like you do uh, combat or magic. Um, so it's, it's a quick, fluent system. Security systems are also important because all the missions have alarm levels. So if you do something stupid and you get noticed by security, an alarm level will increase and the AI may send you um, ice to counter your hacker attacks or they may send you actual guards um, to investigate what's happening. Most of our missions have different mission objectives that may be staggered, so one comes after the other. So, for example, you succeed to find um, the access gate to the sewers, but you find out it's locked and then you need to um, unlock it in some way. Most of the missions also offer alternate routes. Um, so you could, for example, choose to go directly in. Um, you could try to sneak in through a side entrance. Um, you could try to hack your way through the entry or you just blow a big old hole in the wall. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Um, stay tuned for more and please support us on Kickstarter.